you, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making project number three in my art gallery online class. It is a happy birthday card because they're all happy birthday cards in this uh, class kit. So this is, um, I'm thinking of you, happy birthday. So let's get started. So from your kit, you'll need um, just a basic, thick basic white card base. And I, of course I keep your card bases in a separate envelope so you don't get them confused. And then you're going to need, it looks like this, Hey, this card's no no nope this one right here this four by four piece right here that's what you're going to need for your DSP and then let's see what else basic white we've got some basic white already cut we might use that first but I'll get another sheet because I know we'll probably need more and then so saffron yeah let's See, you have you have two yellows. The larger piece is your so saffron, and then you can see this is your bumblebee piece here. That looks um, quite different. It's a lot darker. So we don't need the bumblebee. We just need the so saffron. And I think that is it for our cardstock. Now you will need some ribbon and embellishments, but from this piece, this you're also going to need this piece of uh, golden garden acetate. So, and it is a two by four piece of the golden garden uh, designer series acetate. All right, so let's get started with our cutting. Now, if you um, if you don't have the kit check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com and you will be able to see what current uh, class I'm doing and what current kit I'm offering with a qualifying purchase uh, from Stampin' Up! using my current host code. Okay, so uh, our thick whisper white is back here, I believe. Is that, no, that Sometimes it's hard to keep them separ separate. That's because the thick whisper white and the, the normal basic white. I've got to get used to saying basic white. So we're going to score this at four and a quarter. We're going to use our scoring blade, which is the lighter colored blade. And once we've got it scored in the center, we'll bring in our bold fo bone folder <laughs> and score that. not score it, press it. I'm in a hurry, can you tell? Okay, so um, I need to relax and chill a little bit. Okay, so this is our card base, so we'll set that aside. And now for our basic white, we need one that's three and, a, three, and three quarters by five. So we know this is five and a half, so we're gonna do three and three quarters get my scoring blade up there out of the way three and three quarters by five this is for the inside sentiment and what else basic white four and a quarter by five and a half so there's my five and a half so I just need to make this four and a quarter That's for stamping. I guess I didn't have to cut it, but <laughs> oh well. So that's for stamping. This is for the inside. We'll stamp on it as well. What else? Um, so saffron. So, so I guess we didn't need this basic white. We save that for another project. So, 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 so saffron. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do the five and a half it in half five and a half now we want to cut it at four and one eighths four and one eighths by five and three eighths that's for our front okay that's for our front 
And this one is going to be four by five and a quarter. We know this is five and a half, so we'll do four. by five and a quarter. And then we need a piece that's one half inch by two and three quarters. So I'm just gonna get my half inch over here. And then we need two and three quarters. And that's going to go behind the sentiment. One half by two and three quarters. And I don't think we need this. But that's our that's our cutting. Our DSP is already four by four, so we don't need to cut that. It's pre-cut for you. So we'll go ahead and put some of these away that we don't need until we're ready to do our assembly and we'll get our stamping ready. So I have my stamp apparatus that I'm going to use and I'll grab a random ink pad to go under my plate. Our inks that we're going to use, Pool Party, Daffodil Delight, so Saffron and Knight of Navy. And then let's grab the stamps we're going to use from our art gallery stamps. We're going to use a lot. We're going to use this one and this one, this one and this one and this one. <laughs> I'm thinking of you and happy birthday. So a lot of stamps. So let's just go ahead and get those out. The leaves and stem, that little detail stamp, happy birthday, I'm thinking of you, and then this big like bouquet like stamp right here. Is that everything? Yeah, I believe so. That's a lot. That's enough. So I'm going to try to put these kind of here where they are so I can find them. And they'll be easy for me to grab. Okay, let's do our four, four and a quarter by five and a half piece. That's going to be for our flower, our outside flower. Be sure you put your paper cardstock in the very corner. That way, if it moves, you can you'll know where to put it back so that it it stamps in the right place. So first I want to stamp, oh we will need our D block as well. This right here. Okay, this is, um, we want to make sure we have room for everything. So we're going to stamp that, we're going to stamp this, and we're going to stamp I'm thinking of you, and I'm thinking of you is going to have to be die cut. So you want to make sure, I'll show you, we're going to use the larger. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room for that. And you also want to make sure you have room to die cut these. So um, let's do the I'm thinking of you first so that we know we have room for it. We're going to do that with So Saffron ink. And so we'll push that. I'm thinking of you. And my ink is a little bit dry, so I bought refills, but I haven't refilled them yet. So I will, though. I will. I'm actually going to do a uh, more about it Monday about ink refills and how to refill your ink pad. Some tri tricks and tips. Okay, so that's I'm thinking of you. We're not done with our so saffron, so I'm going to keep that out. Grab one of my chamois and clean this up.
and then I'm going to dry it off with a microfiber cloth. This is just like the ones that come with your your glasses that you buy. Okay. Then let's do our flower because we're going to use so saffron for that. Just make sure we have room for everybody. And see, that's why you have to put this in the corner so because it will. Those photopolymer stamps are so sticky that they like to stick to everything. But that's what makes the ink stick to them as well. Okay. So there's our so saffron. Try to pick it up, but it still pulls. Now that's our so saffron. So I guess we are done for that for the front. We'll clean that off. Try my pad again. My plate. Now we're going to, before I forget, <laughs> we're going to take the outline type of stamp for this and put that on our block. See, it's so sticky. We're going to grab Daffodil Delight and we're going to just give that some, a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to ink that Daffodil Delight up. I'm going to come over here and this hole is kind of goes up if you're wondering where this is supposed to be. And you just kind of line it up the best you can. And I can see this is in the way. <laughs> so that's not good. That's not good. I'm just going to kind of pull that away. Something to keep in mind. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was able to save it though. All right. So there's our contrast. Gee whiz. Mess. That was a, a fail, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. That was a fail. But I was able to save it. And hopefully you will be too. Okay, so should have done that after I took it off of the the um, magnets. What else do we have to do for this? Um, the leaves. The leaves. They they should give us no trouble. <laughs> So I've got it in the corner. My paper's in the corner. I'm going to pick that up. Just remember you're going to have to die cut. So you want to leave plenty of room to die cut these. Back in the corner. And this we're going to do in pool party. So grab our pool party. Ink that up. I love pool party. It's such a pretty color. And I'm probably going to have to do again because I like a nice rich color. Okay, so there's our pool party. Clean that off. Now we're going to do the inside. We'll die cut these in a minute. Um, get our inside sentiment, our three and a half by five. Is that correct? Yeah, three and a half by five. Um, I'm going to get my four by six window sheet. And I'm going to stamp, what is it, happy birthday in so Sephron. And this is a landscape, so we're going to have to stamp this way. And we, we tend to stamp that way, but we're going to stamp this way. 
So where's my happy birthday? Right here. There's happy birthday. My so saffron out. And that's going to show me where it's going to stamp. It's kind of hard to see until you put your paper underneath there. And then it'll it'll just magically appear. Okay, I'm going to stamp happy birthday. Not in the center, but kind of the H is kind of more in the center. But not exactly. It's a little more to the left. And it's about three quarters of an inch from the top. Okay, I think that's where I want it. So I'm going to put these in place. Remove my plastic. Ink up my stamp. And of course I want it to be a little bit darker. All right, um, clean that off. Hope you're enjoying doing this class, this art gallery online class. It has been one of my favorites and we can always use birthday cards. You can never have enough of those. So now I will put this in the corner and make sure I don't have any ink on my magnets. This is what we're going to use next. Um, the bouquet type of stamp like right here. And it's just going to kind of go here and we're going to do a uh, what what's called um, I guess it's a, kind of like a watermark. So when you get that placed where you want it I have to put that back in place. I forgot to put my magnet there to hold it. Make sure my magnet's not going to be in the way. There. So we're going to start with our so saffron. Now I don't know if you if you've done the other class, but in the other class I covered up part of the leaf with a piece of just scratch paper. So I have this paper here that I'm just going to cover up as much of the leaf and I might even tape that in place just so it kind of stays there. And I'm going to use my So Saffron and ink up these flowers. And then I'm going to take another piece of scratch paper. I have some of this. I'm going to first remove that. I'm going to stamp on that lightly and then I'm going to stamp here. And that gives me kind of the watermark that I'm looking for. So I'm going to put that back in the corner, clean off my stamp. Oh, and now I'm going to, to um, do the, I'm going to dry that stamp off too with my microfiber cloth. I'm going to get a Q-tip and get my pool party back out. So grab a, a Q-tip from your goodie bag. There we go. Now, this um, paper that we used, let's use that same paper, and this time we're going to cover up as much of the flower as we can and ink up just this leaf. It doesn't want to hold the, the ink. Come on, hold that ink. All right, and then we're going to take our and do as much of the stem as the as we can 
And remember their stem in between these little flowers here. And then up here around so you can see I'm putting I'm putting it in in between these flowers here and these little little buds there. And it doesn't have to be like uh, really perfect. And now I'm just removing some of the ink from the flower part. If I got any of the ink on the flower part. I'm going to go ahead and do this leaf too because I don't, not, not, I'm not convinced. Now this I'm not going to stamp off. This I'm just going to go like right here. Because it's not a dark color. And look at that. It's really sticking, isn't it? Okay. And then next, after we do that, we just have one thing left to do for stamping. Clean that off. we are going to do our detail on our flowers. And that's this little stamp right here. So I'm going to move this to the center. This time I'm going to do it right. <laughs> Put that in the corner. Better close up my Pool party. I'm going to get my Daffodil Delight and my scratch paper. So I'm going to ink up. Hold on. I'm going to ink up my um, and then stamp here and then stamp here. Again, stamp here and then stamp here and then stamp here and then this third little flower right there and that's our inside so clean off this stamp put our ink away looks like I forgot to clean my Happy birthday off of there. All right, that's our stamping. Except for one thing. <laughs> Except for one thing. Um, on your flower, you can see that there's a little bit of blue there. So I'm going to bring in that Q-tip. I have one that I used before that is blue. Um, so I'm going to use that. Or you can grab another Q-tip. I think I gave you extra. So we're just going to take the navy, the knight of navy, and we're just going to, in the center here, put some uh, ink there and then not too much <laughs> I tend to overdo then I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella if you have it if you don't that's fine and I'm just going to kind of blend that together and then blend it out a little bit to give it more a natural look I'm just using the very tip of my brush. Okay, and then to clean your brush, just use a piece of scratch paper and it will clean right up. Okay, now we are done <laughs> with our stamping. So 
So we're ready to do some die cutting. We have to die cut our flowers and our sentiment. So I'm going to bring in this and I want to um, get my dies. So here's our awesome dies right here that goes with this set. The longer label uh, and then this large flower and the stem. We're going to use those. So I'll do the flower. And let's see, I'll line that up and then I'm going to put some removable tape to kind of keep that in place. Then the leaf, so pretty, I love that pool party. And you just want to make sure you can see the stem up and top and bottom here. That way you know you have it in place. And then here, I'm thinking of you. I want to get that centered in there. It's ready to run through here. So my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have my tape, my plate one, my plate two, plate three, well loved plate three, and looks like this moved just a little bit. I'll put another piece of tape there to make sure it doesn't move. Again, put that on there, and then I'm going to run that through my machine. It's on paper so that's why it's trying to slide. Normally it has little rubber feet that keep it in place. Okay, so here's all my die cuts, my awesome gorgeous die cuts. my flower and my stem and my sentiment. So I think we are ready to start putting our card together. So let me bring in the rest of our things. We have this. We will need our ribbon so we'll grab our goodie bag. This is um, fine art ribbon that comes with the suite and it is looks like a five and a half inch and a an eight inch piece and then we have three pearls that are two medium and one large so do I have enough pearls yeah <laughs> I'm looking at that like, do I have the right ones? Okay, so there's my two medium and one large jewel, basic pearl jewels, I think it is. Basic jewel pearls, basic pearl jewels. Pearl basic jewels, that's what it is. Come on, get out of there. All right, so that's what all the rest we need for our card. That's the inside and it goes on the smaller piece of So Saffron that goes on the inside. Then the outside we have this and oops, did we not cut a pool party? We needed a pool party. Yes, I did not cut the pool party. <laughs> Guess what guys, we get to cut a pool party. So get your, I, I always forget something so that's what I forgot this time. So get your pool party out, cardstock. 
this is the pool party here this beautiful like light blue there and we need a four by five and a quarter so this is already five and a half so we're just going to do four sorry sorry but you know me four by five and a quarter and there we go yep four by five and a quarter <laughs> it makes sense now I I just missed that I, I when I was doing my cutting I missed the pool party I missed the party that's gonna go on top of here our piece of garden golden garden acetate is the same size as the pool party it's gonna go here and then our DSP is going to go here with the flowers you want to make sure your stems are going up like that and on our ribbon our five and a half ribbon is going to go here so let's go ahead and get that much done now the ribbon goes under the pool party so we don't want to uh, put that on the sa so saffron until we get that all fi figured out. Now this, I decided the best thing to do here was to, to put um, dots of glue. And let me get my glue. Dots of glue behind uh, the, the on the leaves and anywhere that you can hide a dotted glue and you'll be surprised you can find plenty of places depends on how small you can make your dots of glue but you do want them small almost like the size of a pinhead okay I have my dots of glue that silver looks pretty too doesn't it all right so I want to just flip it over and line it up and lay it down you don't want to move it because if you move it now if there's if you see glue it's supposed to dry clear so hopefully unless it's a lot but even still it might dry clear all right and then your cards your DSP is going to line up like this so you can use glue or you can use um, snail or seal I'm going to use glue because I want to be able to move this around if I need to because it's going to have to be perfect against this uh, perfectly against the edges and that would be hard to do with anything else besides glue Okay, and now we're going to do our our uh, fine art ribbon. It's going to go right over that seam. So that I will use some seal. Just going to try to figure out where I need to put that seal. Just about right there to hold my ribbon in place while I... push the ends in and you just want to make sure that it's the same distance from the edge on both ends there we go and then that's going to go on our so saffron and for that I will use my seal put a little on the ribbons And that's a once a sixteenth of an inch all around. There we go. Great, 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 great. And 
Um, so that's the front. We'll go ahead and put that on the card with some seal. Sixteenth of an inch again all around. Now I think I'll do this side because it's a little bit off at the bottom. Press it down good. Now then, let's take our I'm thinking of you and put some dots of glue on the back of it. Across the back. And line it up on our piece of so saffron. And again, the glue lets you move it around. So I I used uh, it looks like mini dimensionals on the leaves and the regular dimensionals on the flower. so pretty and then I used um, many dimensionals here and then we'll tie our bow so go ahead and decide where and how you want your flower I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to mark that's not going to show so I'm going to mark there and then I'm just going to mark just under this one so I know where to put this. Get my mini dimensionals. Put those on the back. I'm putting about three on the leaves. It's probably more than I need. I'm not going to worry about the stems. Uh, I might put one more down here. Okay. So that's where I've got my dimensionals and I'm just going to go ahead and take those off. You know, those are sticky, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to find my marks. I have, um, oh gee, it's hard with this paper. Okay, there's one mark and there's one mark. So there's the mark for that and there's the mark for that. Okay, and then I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put that on with regular dimensionals. So I'll grab those. I don't know, maybe I'm used too much. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of want to make sure that it's um, it's not going to come off. Okay. So line that up where I want it, about right there. This one I'm going to put mini dimensionals on, but I don't want to, I don't want to put any where it's going to be on the, the flower or over the ribbon. So I'm going to flip it over, bring my minis back in. That way I can put them on there and not have to worry about where it's going to land. It's about a quarter of an inch from the, this is about a quarter of an inch from the so saffron. Okay. Yeah, that will work. Get my thing out. Okay, this is ready to go on. And it's going to go about right there, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. Not quite. Well, let's see. You don't want it to cover up your flower too much. And it's about right there. This one's a little different. I think my flower is a little different. So just put it where you think it looks right. 
Um, I'm not going to push it down real hard because I might want to move it. So here's your ribbon. Find your curve. Make your two loops like we normally do. And then we're going to cross this one over that one. Make sure you keep your ribbon flat against itself. Push this through that hole, this little hole that you just made, the loop. Push that one through and pull. Now this one's a little big on that side, so I'm going to push this through. And that looks about right. So I'm going to get my scissors and trim this kind of like that. And then this one over here. Now I noticed that this ribbon likes to frail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to put a little line of glue there along the edge. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I make sure I wipe my fingers off because I've got glue on there. <laughs> I kind of pushed it to spread it around. Let's go ahead and put our, um, get this glue off of here. Uh, let's put our pearls on. So our larger pearl is going to go kind of right here to accent that flower. And then the other pearls are going to go towards one on each end in the center. One on next to the U. And then one next to the I. Okay, so let's see. Decide which side you like the best for your bow. That side or this side. I like this side, so I'm going to put my... And this one lies flatter, so that'll be better to put against the flat edge. I'm going to get my mini glue dots, which are awesome. I'm going to put one on one half and one on the other half of that knot in the back. And believe it or not, they will hold this bow in place because they are too, that'll be too sticky little. You can see this is already fraying, so I'm just going to help it a little bit. There. There we go. Now we need to do the inside real quick. Our happy birthday. This is a beautiful birthday card, and I love the colors. The So Saffron and the Pool Party are two beautiful colors together. It will surely brighten someone's day. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I spoke too soon. That last minute movement just it stuck to my finger. Okay, that I think that's right now. <laughs> There we go, guys. We are done with project number three in the art gallery um, class. Check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current um, class kit I'm offering. Thanks for watching and see you for card number four. Bye now.